Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. This is Debs, and this is your reading for June 2022. Guys, first of all, forgive my voice. If you've heard this in other readings at the beginning, uh, do you forgive the second message, the additional message, but I'm not feeling terribly well at the moment. It's okay, it'll pass, um, but just forgive my voice. It's affected my voice. Okay, Cancer. I feel as if someone has made a really big mistake. It could be that they've let you go and they want you back. It could be that you've let someone go and you've changed your mind. Um, but the issue is, is that the other person has already moved on to be with somebody else. So there's a sense of panic. Oh my goodness. I didn't expect them to move on that fast, that quickly. Oh my goodness not knowing what to do. So whether this is you, whether this is your person, it can be switched. Let's get into this reading and see what comes through. As always, using a selenite to help me connect through with Divine Source. The deck is the Gilded Tarot, as you know, Jira Marchetti. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my lovely Cancerians. This is June 2022. What do we have for Cancer, please, for this period of time? And who do we have with us? in this reading. Thank you, Michael. Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Haniel, Archangel Metatron, Archangel Uriel. I keep hearing, I don't know what to do now. I don't know what to do. Okay. Ooh, challenging energy. Yeah, someone is filled with regret. Oh my goodness. Somebody has walked away from another person and is now wanting to go back. But has the other person moved on already? The lovers. Cancer, this could be you. This could be your person. We have Gemini energy. Cancer, I feel that unbeknown to your person that may have walked away from you, you did have an opportunity to be with someone else that I think you pushed away because you were hoping that things were going to work out with your person. I think they left. I think they said to you, it's done, it's over. And you thought to yourself, well, we were on the rocks in any case, all right. And I feel after a few months, you decided to move forward with someone else. They want back. They want back in, Cancer. But I think you're in a very happy connection with someone new. They didn't expect it. Oh, look at that. You can't make that up. Ace of Cups. You're in a brand new relationship with someone else, Cancer. And I think they're in panic mode because they want you back. Wow, guys. Three of Swords in Reverse. You had to heal cancer from a very painful situation. It could be your person cheated on you. It could be that you two were arguing the whole time. It was difficult, but you were willing to put in the work and effort to balance out the scales, create peace and calm again in your relationship. Eight of Cups. Cancer, your person walked away. They left. You were willing to put in the work. They weren't. They left to pursue someone else. And after a few months waiting, thinking, I believe that you chose the other person that you had in the back of your mind. And they can't believe it. They can't believe it. Justice. You may feel it's justice. They walked away from you. They didn't treat you well. And now you're in a beautiful new relationship. Yes, I got justice. Your life is nicely balanced. We've got Libra energy. You may be moving into quite a serious connection with this relatively new person. You could have been with them a few months. You could be already talking about moving in together, getting engaged. Oh my goodness, eight of wands. Cancer, I think you're going to be communicating with whoever left you that you're moving forward very happily with somebody else. 
there's going to be a conversation between you and your ex. Oh my goodness. What you're fearing is the hermit. Are you fearing cancer of Virgo is going to come back, trying to return to you? Yeah. For some of you, that's true. Seven of Cups, your person is really confused. Um, or hang on, uh, how did this happen so quickly? You couldn't have met someone yet. Ooh, Cancer. Yeah, Cancer. I think this person got their just desserts. They walked away from you. They may have wanted to play the field. Always thinking that you would be there in the background on the sidelines in case they wanted to return. No, you moved on with somebody else. And this is what you're saying to them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry you were confused. I'm sorry you wanted to dip into other options, go out with other people, be young, free and single again. But um, I'm in a relationship now. They can't believe it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Cancer, you're hoping that this new person is going to move forward and commit to you. You're already thinking about the fact that this could get serious. And your ex is kind of there, stressing, thinking, oh my goodness, uh, I've made a mistake, I want to come back, it's too late. Yeah, wow. Cancer, you... You could be moving into a connection with a Pisces or you're getting the wake up call that your person wants you back. But as far as you're concerned, this is justice because they walked away from you. Oh, my goodness. You've released yourself. You may have waited and hoped and prayed that this person would commit to you. Maybe they were in and out of your life off and on. Now you see me. Now you don't. You might have thought this person didn't take the relationship seriously. And I think you got fed up. There was somebody who was dying to be with you, somebody else on the outskirts of your life. And I think you decided to give this person a chance. Because whoever your ex is wanting to come back in, they walked away from you. So you thought, OK, after a few months, all right. Yeah. Oh, my goodness, guys. Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Ace of Swords. The truth is, you don't want them back. They're coming in, Knight of Cups, all charming, all romantic. Yeah, Nine of Pentacles. You're doing fine. And you've also got somebody moving towards you who loves you. Wow. <laughs> Under the deck. You, Cancer, Queen of Cups. How lovely is that? Yeah. I mean, I think this is you, I have to say with maybe a little bit of, well, yeah, you got your just desserts, a little bit of that energy, quietly feeling a bit smug that your person wants you back, but you've moved on with somebody else. You're dealing with a king of wands in reverse, non-committal, didn't take action, bit manipulative, maybe they cheated on you. I mean, this is you, Cancer, being very nice about this. Well, I'm sorry that... Um, you missed the boat. I'm sorry that you miss me, but I'm not interested anymore. I'm with somebody new now. They can't believe it. The moon, your card of cancer. Now, you may have kept it hidden from this person that someone else was interested in you. But this is also you fearful that if this person comes back in, you don't know for sure if you trust them again. I mean, this is somebody who may have kept secrets from you. They may have kept from you that they were messaging other people when you were in a relationship. Page of Pentacles, they're coming in, Cancer. They're wanting to try again. They could turn up with a gift. You're not interested. <laughs> wow. Guys. Yeah, that's what we have for you for this month of June. Wow. So, Cancer. Guys, could be quite an interesting reading. There, you can see all the cards now. People, um, the lovers. You always had a choice between this person that you were in a relationship with and someone else. 
You always knew that there was a strong connection you felt with somebody else and they felt it too. But I feel you hung on to a relationship with your person because you wanted things to work out. You wanted to give them a chance. But I feel that either you got fed up with their games or they just upped and left you. And so with the lovers, you made a choice to move into a brand new partnership. You may have just moved forward with this person. You could have been dating them for a few months. And I think you are in a place where you're happy, you're content, you don't know exactly where it's gonna go, but it seems to be going in the right direction and you're relaxed. In the past, with the Three of Swords in reverse, you could have sat in heartbreak. It may be you found out your person wasn't honest with you, they were deceptive, they were messaging other people, they were unfaithful. You could have been arguing a lot, there was a lot of stress. You tried to mend this. I think you two reunited, came back together again, talked things through, you may have forgiven this person. And things were okay for a while, but I don't think things ever were exactly the way they were before. There was always a bit of mistrust, a bit, ner bit of nervousness. I think after a period of time of reuniting after what happened in the past, your person suddenly one day said, that's it, eight of cups. I'm going, I'm leaving, I'm walking forward to be with somebody else, or I wanna be single, whatever this was. And I think it was a very blunt cutoff. This person was convinced that they wanted to leave the situation. And now they want back in. But you're in this beautiful lover's energy, the Ace of Cups. What you're quietly thinking about is two things, Cancer. First of all, you may feel that the person that you're with could be a Gemini or a Libra. You may feel that this is the person you're supposed to be with. You may dream of getting engaged, moving in together, signing a legal contract. You feel very balanced in this beautiful connection. Or you may be thinking, I got justice. I got justice. My person walked away from me. They hurt me. And now they want back in and I've moved on. It's justice. They're unhappy. They've caused me unhappiness. So not my problem anymore is what I'm hearing. Oh my goodness. Michael, when have you got the eight of wands in the immediate future for my beautiful Cancerians, please? The 11th of July, he's pointing forward to the end of September. Hmm. They're not going to be pushed away so easily, Cancer. And this is going to be tricky for you. Let's look at their energy first. They're sat in the Seven of Cups. They have been dating other people. They potentially have had seven short-term relationships. And this is them coming forward to you, kind of cap in hand, Cancer, I still love you. I'm sorry. I made a big mistake. Can we come back together again? I was really emotionally confused. I didn't know if I wanted long-term commitment. Mm, Cancer, your reaction is A to Wands. Um, a fast message from you back to your person. I'm sorry, I've moved on. Um, it may be a little bit of backwards and forwards communication over the next two months they may say can we remain friends can I come and see you whatever you say cancer they're not taking no for an answer but you are not wanting to go back to this connection and I feel it's because with the king of wands in the reverse you didn't trust this person you may have felt they lied to you they manipulated you they deceived you if not then this is someone who was very flighty, didn't want to commit, somebody who you always wondered was messaging other people, going online, internet dating on the quiet. You don't trust them. In terms of your fears, you could be fearing the return of a Virgo, or you could be fearing that your relationship isn't going to work, so the new relationship you're in isn't going to work, and if you push away your ex, you're going to be left on your own. 
hermit is by myself. In your hopes, Knight of Pentacles. Now, for some of you, you're hoping that the new connection is going to last, as I said. Hoping this is going to move forward into something really stable. You could be dating a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. If not, you may be fearing the return of particularly a Virgo and hoping that if this is a Virgo, this could be a very specific message for one or two of you, that this time... Rather than being really flighty, non-committal, wanting to play the field, they will commit to you. The final card is the Hanging Man. You may find out something about a Pisces. It could be that simply you get the wake-up call that after waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for this person to step up, to commit to you, to make things really serious with you, they've basically left you, but then got the wake-up call, because this is what this person, if this is them, is looking at, is, oh my goodness, cancer's got straight into a relationship. I've missed the boat. And this is you understanding they're feeling this way. Oh my goodness, what have I done? Okay. So cancer, the truth came out, ace of swords, and they cut off from you. It was very painful. It was very sudden. You found yourself single with the nine of pentacles. But this is the energy of someone who picks themselves up relatively quickly. This is also someone who's got a good job, good career. And soon afterwards, with the Knight of Cups, you were romanced by this person who I think had been sitting on the edge of your life, kind of waiting for you to notice them. I feel now that your ex is coming back in, full of contrite, full of remorse, you are sitting in incredible strong energy, Queen of Cups. Despite the hurt and pain, despite the disappointment, you're very relaxed with this ex coming back. You're very calm, almost compassionate. You're dealing with a Knight of Wands in reverse. Someone who couldn't keep it in their pants, somebody who didn't act with integrity, somebody that you couldn't trust. Somebody flighty. And with the energy of the moon, this is your energy. The moon and the crab for me is cancer. And this is you fearful of taking this person back. Even though you may still have love in your heart for them, which is something you're hiding from them, you're fearful of taking them back because you don't trust them. They're coming back in with a page of pentacles. Please forgive me. They want to come and see you with a gift. This is someone who is wanting to apologise for sitting on the fence, for culling you out of their life. But I think the truth is, is that with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse, you're not interested. You don't think this person is really going to commit to you. You just feel they don't want you to move on with somebody else, which is selfish. <laughs> And Cancer, you may be in a lovely situation where you've got your life back in control, you're stable, and you've got love coming in. Or you've already accepted someone's offer to move forward with you into a relationship and you're really happy and balanced. And your ex cannot believe it. Guys, let's jump into this reading. Here we go. Michael, what is the energy of the lovers crossed with the Ace of Cups? You're in a beautiful relationship. Four of Wands. Oh my goodness. I mean, Cancer, you could even be talking to this person about moving in together, getting engaged, starting a family. It's moved forward really quickly. So you're in a lovely balanced place. What 
What else is on Cancer's mind? The Hierophant, marriage, tradition. This person may ask you to marry them. You may already be engaged. You could be in a new relationship, if not with a Libra or a Gemini, with a Taurus. You're thinking this is going to go all the way. Yeah, wow, your card of cancer again, the chariot. After a lot of deliberating, a lot of waiting, a lot of, oh, do I move on? Is my ex coming back? You thought, to hell with it, I'm moving on. I know this is somebody that I can trust. This is the person who was sitting on the edge of your life. And I think you just move forward with them. To hell with it. If my person doesn't want to commit to me, I'll be with somebody who does. You just decided to move on with your life. What happened in the past with the Three of Swords in the reverse? Yeah, wow. Three of Cups in reverse. So your person wanted to be young, for in single. They may have cheated on you, drawn you into some kind of third party situation. Oh my goodness. Wow. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, they may have been very frugal, not very generous. They could have simply been not putting any effort or energy into the relationship with you. Wow. Temperance, Sagittarian energy, and you had to heal. You may have waited to see if you two could patch up the situation. There may have been a grey period where something happened, you forgave them, and you struggled to get that emotional connection back again. But I think you put in a lot of time and energy to try and pull the two of you together. But I think eventually they left. Eight of Cups. They left. Yeah. So Cancer, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. You were very disappointed. You thought that at some point they're going to ask you to marry them. It never happened. You were left very disappointed. The relationship ended. Yeah, nine of wands. There might have been struggles in the relationship anyway, but I think you were working on it. And I think after a time you thought, OK, well, obviously they don't want this relationship, so I'm going to give up on it too. It might even, when this person walked away, you may even have strangely felt a relief when this person walked away from you. Yeah. But I think it was struggling in any case. Yeah, the tower. I think the tower had already fallen in the past, but you were left really to pick up the pieces. It was rubble. You know, you couldn't rebuild. You had to pick up the pieces of your life. After this disaster, this relationship just ended. I think they just walked off, left you. They might have just said, I'm sorry, it's not working. I want to be single. Bye now. It was really difficult. But here's you in this beautiful connection or you're getting to know someone that you really feel it's going to work out with. Your life is in balance. And this is you thinking, yeah, I got justice because my ex is coming back, tail between their legs. I'm really sorry I made a massive mistake. You always thought oh, they're going to come back to me, but I'm going to move on. Wow. So what's justice? What is justice in my beautiful Cancerian's thoughts? Yeah. Seven of Wands. It may be you felt this person constantly pushed you away, didn't want to commit. Or you now feel justice because you're pushing them away when they walked away from you. You're not allowing them to come back in. Yeah, Five of Swords. You think they're sad in selfish energy. This is somebody who just wants to get what they want to get. This is somebody who wanted to play the field but keep you hanging at the same time. You're over it. <laughs> you're over it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Ace of Wands in reverse. This is somebody who had a one night stand. This is somebody who cheated on you and you don't want them back. The passion's gone. The fire is gone. I don't think you wish them ill. But I think this is you feeling as if it's done, really is done. And I think you're relatively content with that. You're thinking about your new relationship. So, Michael, 
Why are they sad in the Seven of Cups? Now, this is someone who left you, said they wanted to be single, said they were really confused about their feelings, whatever this is. They're coming in to talk to you. What else do they want to say? Oh, Cancer, yeah. Oh my goodness, you're the one. You're the one. I haven't felt anything close to how I felt with you. I miss you. I want you back. I want you back. Wow. Page of Wands. Little message coming in. You could be connected to a fire sign. Death, Scorpio. They don't want it to end, but they don't realise it's already ended. This is someone who seems to think that there's still a chance for you to take them back. What else is on their mind? Yeah, they know they deceived you in the past. They know they cheated on you. They know that they didn't want to commit to you. They put up defences. They didn't want to talk about getting serious. They know what they did. They know what they did. Yeah, four swords. They're heartbroken. They may have run off thinking that another relationship was going to be more fulfilling for them. It wasn't. And they're coming back to you. They're heartbroken. They can't believe it. They can't believe that you won't take them back. They just want to come back to you. Six of Cups. They have very happy memories of being with you despite how you felt. Maybe you didn't have happy memories, but they did. Yeah, they want to come back in. Yeah, I mean, this is somebody sat in guilt, remorse, regret. What have I done? What have I done? They are trying to be hopeful that due to the memories from the past that you two shared, you would agree to give them a chance. You would agree. They're hanging on to you, Cancer. They don't want to let you go. Emotionally, they can't think of anyone else. And they want to come back to you. How else is this person feeling? Yeah. Ten of Swords in reverse. They want to mend what was a very painful ending. How do my Cancerians feel? Cancer, you're sounding the Eight of Wands. You will communicate with this person. You will communicate. Ooh, okay. I felt pain in my sacral. Three of Wands in the reverse. You may say to them, you know what? I waited for you to come back. Maybe you waited for a couple of months, nothing. And I'm sorry, I just didn't wait anymore. I moved on. You didn't come to see me. You got me into a third party, three in the reverse. So um, it's over. I'm with somebody else. <laughs> Judgment in the reverse. Sagittarian energy. You didn't make a decision about me. You didn't want to get serious. And I don't think it would be a very good judgment call for me to take you back. So no, no. Seven of Pentacles. I'm working on myself. I'm working on my finances. I'm in this beautiful new relationship. I've been with this person seven weeks or seven months. Goodness me. What else is going to be going through Cancer's mind? Yeah, the devil. You feel this person is a bit obsessed with you. You feel this person is sat in unhealthy patterns of behaviour. You could be in a new relationship with a Capricorn. You could be connecting to a Capricorn. But I think the devil is you realising that this person is obsessed with getting you back. But you're over it. <laughs> you're done. What else is Cancer going to say to this person?
High Priestess in reverse. Cancer, you're going to say to this person, I saw the truth of a situation. This person may have messed you about with a Capricorn or a Pisces. But you're going to say to this person, I came out of fantasy land and I realised that this is not going to work. You were messing around with somebody else. Start in the reverse. I'm not going to get my wish come true with you. I don't want to heal the connection with you. I don't have faith in this relationship. You could be turning away an Aquarius. Wow. Yeah, you're very calm, Cancer. Five of Wands in reverse. I don't want to argue with you. I'm not willing to fight off the competition for you. I'm just over it. I'm done. I've moved on. See you later type of energy. We don't need to talk anymore. That's your reaction. They can't believe it. What is the energy between these two people? What is the energy between these two people? Yeah, you're both in your head. Cancer, you're in your head because you can't believe that after this person was maybe unfaithful, they were non-committal, maybe for a long time, you can't believe that now you've left, finally, or you've met somebody else, they're coming back in, and they are terrified, they're in their head, that they've lost you for good. Yeah. Wow. Okay, what is the energy of the hanging man in the reverse? Cancer, Ten of Wands, you're looking at the future, you're not looking at the past, you've dropped this heavy burden. I think you're realising that this person walking away from you was actually the best thing that happened because it enabled you to move forward with somebody who is going to commit to you. And this is wake-up call, thank God, I was waiting and waiting, feeling uncomfortable in the hangman energy for my person to step it up, for them to commit to me. They never did. They cheated. They said they wanted to play the field, whatever this was. You drop this massive burden. And it may well be that with this person coming back, you're realising that they actually haven't changed. They just desperately don't want to lose you. It's too late. You've dropped the burden. You've dropped the burden. Yeah. My goodness. My goodness. Ten of Cups. I think you're heading to your Ten of Cups. I think you're creating a beautiful life with your person or you believe this will go all the way. Nine of Cups. I mean, Ten of Cups, Nine of Cups is a lot of happiness. I think this is you, incredibly happy. It may be even when you see this X again, you're going to think to yourself, thank God I didn't take them back. Wow, did I really wait that long for this person to step it up? You're going to realise. And I think this is you moving forward into a really happy relationship. My goodness. Yeah, two of ones in the reverse. No longer standing at crossroads, happily moving forward. You're not going back to this person from the past. The strength card. You've got your strength and courage and confidence back. You're taming the lion. You're not reaching out to this person again. Leo energy. Yeah. You're sitting in Empress energy. This is you. Strong, stable, reliable. You've learned all your lessons. You have a lot of self-worth. This is you manifesting, becoming wife, becoming mother, a beautiful long-term relationship. You're so ready. And I think the divine is bringing in this person for you almost as a reward for having the strength to push this ex back. No, I'm not interested. You weren't reliable. You weren't faithful to me. You didn't want to commit. What did you expect? For me to wait forever? Ooh. How is cancer feeling? It's over. The world. You've moved into a brand new cycle. You may even have relocated away from your ex in any case. 
For some of you, you're starting a beautiful business online. For others of you, you're connecting with people internationally. I think you're just happy. You could be traveling, planning a trip. Knight of Swords. This is somebody coming in with very straight communication. Who sat in the Knight of Swords? Who was sat in the Knight of Swords? Two of Pentacles in reverse. I think this is someone who is saying to you, I'm sorry, I was dating somebody in another area. I had to make a decision. I couldn't make a decision. I want you back. And this is you saying, well, I'm sorry, but uh, that ship has sailed. I'm very happy in a beautiful new Ten of Cups relationship. I've got my strength back, my confidence back. I'm moving forward. I'm not interested. I'm simply not interested. The Fool. This person could say, I'll be very foolish. I took a leap of faith. I was very childish. You may say, I'm sorry. I'm not taking a leap of faith with you. It's done. Aries energy. It's done. Final card, please, for my Cancerians. The Wheel of Fortune. Cancer, you're moving forward into a beautiful new phase of life. The wheel is turning. You're no longer feeling stuck. And I think the divine has a hand in this. They're pushing you on. Your person simply didn't deserve you. So despite them coming in with a gift, all apologetic, I've changed, I want you back, I think you're going to say, I'm sorry, I've moved on with somebody else now. I mean, if not, you may be giving yourself the Ten of Cups. But I think if it hasn't happened yet, you're going to be moving forward in quite a serious way with somebody new. Or somebody that might have been keeping an eye on you for quite a long time that you may always have known you would build a relationship with one day. That's going to happen, okay? So guys, whew, oh my goodness. Now let's move into the Hidden Truth Oracle. Let's see what your person would wish to say to you. Archangel Michael, can we have a message, please, from my Cancerians? Person to my Cancer, please. What would they want to say? What would they want to say? Okay, you and I were too young, so maybe that was the issue. Maybe you two met when you were too young and you might have waited for them and waited for them and waited for them and you just thought, no, they don't want to commit to me. I've hung around and hung around and they're not being committal. They're still playing the field. And I think eventually they left. Yeah. OK, so when they walked away from you, they may have been worried in reaching out again, knowing that maybe you pushed them away. Cancer, it may well be that they will just sit and wait and hope and pray that it won't work out with your new person or you'll change your mind. But I don't think you will. I think for you it's done. Yeah, this is sad, but I think that this person has learned a very painful lesson that they've lost you. Because of infidelity, because they wanted to play the field, because they were non-committal and you got fed up waiting. Eventually, though, I think they walked away and you had to heal your heart. And I think they can't believe that they have really lost you. So they may be waiting in vain. All right, Cancer, I'm leaving it there. Take care of you. Sending love and light your way and many blessings. Bye, guys.